believe that uh, the, t the town, all of the ten towns are banding together as we speak to try to hunt down these, these giant infidels that have encroached onto our shores. Did, uh, was there a particular the, region where they were, seemed to have the most effect? Mo mostly along the, uh, along the, uh, the coast of the Sword Sea. Mostly on the court, uh, on the coast, and there's actually been several large battles. And and, and in fact, I, I think from from what uh, my sources were telling me, that not only are they fighting humans, but they're fighting the other giants as well. And oh. in this area of the Ten Towns, there's actually been several large battles between the giants. Have you heard of any of, of this? Uh, I, I believe all of the all of the different giants are fighting with one another, Graven. All of them, the frost giants, the cloud, uh, the storm giants, the 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 hill giants. They're all fighting with one another. Something about their hierarchy is is in shambles now. Huh. And what would what were you asking me, sir, about my, my cloak? What's, uh, I was just wondering if we we could deliver that fine cloak of yours to uh, to to the guy we're telling you about to let you let him know that you're uh, you got the message. I've had this cloak for quite some time, but I tell you what, I'm sorry that I could not give you any information for this weevil, as he does air quotes. I'm sorry I could mm -hmm. not give you any information to take back to Sir Beric. And for your travels, because I know this is a, a very long travel from the Ten Towns, mm -hmm. I will give you, as he unclasps his cloak, I will give <laughs> you this cloak. Awesome. And you may do with it with, with, what you will. And this it's is for... Be, uh, wow, great. Silver Tongue Curly Oa. It, it truly <laughs> yeah. saddens Didn't even me. have to use suggestion. <laughs> well, I'm not giving it to you directly. You guys figure that out for yourselves. But... I, it saddens me that I know nothing of this weevil, and I have wasted your time. And for your troubles and your travels, I offer you my cloak, which is one that protects you. It's a great cloak. We accept it with honor. It is. It's served me well for many years. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. You are very welcome, my friends. And now I must be back to grooming old glue bucket here my horse my war horse my, and he just goes back to and he gives a safe travels friends give my best regards to sir Beric. thank I you so much cast, so much. i'm gonna cast a uh, prestidigitation and clean his horse if i can Ooh. or five feet of it <laughs> so all, this press edition is doesn't it it creates water and kind of just like dumps it in the area or no, how it, it just you, cleans you manipulate it, it while just cleans you want, it right? off. Oh, he likes it. Yeah, no, he yeah, likes it, it just cleans. Cool. It, it, it says it can clean clothes, but I figure it might clean a horse. You know, wow, it's, horse. it's just like the horse drive-through down in Baldur's <laughs> Gate. I love this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I bow and say, "You're welcome." Just spread the word. <laughs> the curly old dark spire does horses. <laughs> <laughs> Does horses? <laughs> I just <died. laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. That's right. He's trying to start up a business with regards to horses. <laughs> mercy, Lord, have mercy. All right. So you call you it horsing it around. <laughs> <laughs> Quit your horsing around. So, who wants this cloak of protection? Uh, I want it, but uh, does anybody else want it? Who else? <laughs> anybody else want it? Oh, aren't you already wearing one? No, you are you? Uh, you can I wasn't able to buy it. Didn't have enough. Who has the Didn't lowest amount of magic money. items? You should go ahead and wear it then. Okay, I, I have the it. ring, so I don't plan to be visible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, that ring's awesome. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll take it. Okay. I, I don't hear any other players, you know, shouting up for it or anything. No, you no, know, like, go ahead. Like, Gildan isn't saying anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, congratulations. You can uh, you can adjust your, your armor class by one. And I believe this also gives you a bonus on your saving throws. I so think so. You gain a plus one bonus to armor class and saving throws while you are wearing the cloak. 
Very nice. That is. That is very nice. It is. So where do you, I mean, you really the only the only other location you guys have is up north for Augur Brighton, back up in the Iron Master. Is that the one in Iron Master? Yeah. Well, we have to much. we have to walk the ten towns too. Yeah, yeah, it's a, actually a pretty pretty long trip. Let's see. Uh, I think the the closest thing is probably is probably never never winter. That's probably the closest. Yeah, to the yeah to the mm -hmm. Yartar. I mean, that's kind of right there too. But, uh, yeah. we could teleport into Mirabar. You can teleport to Mirabar. That's right. I totally, totally forgot that. Is Mirabar considered one of the ten towns? No, but it's nearby. Yeah. It's it looks like Mirabar, Mirabar is Neverwinter, or just as far from Luskin. Isn't Luskin one of them though? Luskin is not one of the uh, the inner circles. Let's see. There's Everlyn, Loudwater, Mirabar, Neverwinter, Waterdeep, and Yartar. So no, Mirabar I was talking about the ten towns for the for the, no, no, the towns. No, 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 no. No, Mirabar the, isn't. The, no. But is Luskin? Luskin is a uh, is a pirate town. Yep. Yep. And it's Loud always at war town. with. Uh, it's always at war with Neverwinter too. Uh, from what I remember, a lot of lot of uh, sea battles and stuff between the two ports. Probably because of the piracy, but yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, what do we think? Take a boat over to Fireshear, or do we want to go through Luskin? I mean, where are we probably, going next? You could probably go to Waterdeep, teleport back to Waterdeep, and then maybe take that boat. All the way up to Iron Master, but that would take quite some time. Well, can we just take a boat out of Neverwinter to Iron Master? Sure, you could do that too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're already there. We're yeah. close, much closer than Waterdeep. Yeah. You can do that. Probably would be a. Uh, so let's see. There's probably about. Um, I would say it's probably about a four or five hundred mile journey. It's actually a pretty, pretty big journey. So it's Luskin? Uh, yeah. Well, f to no, Luskin, up to Iron Master. Yeah. Okay. It's so that's about a, what, 10, 12 day journey or something? Yeah, it's like five, six hundred, five, six hundred miles. So, yeah. <laughs> Doug says, Luskin sounds like a safe place to go. <laughs> that's up to you guys. Of Where course you guys he does. Go. You guys can. You guys have your horses too, so I mean, you could travel by horseback from Mirabar. You could take a boat. Uh, maybe you could. Uh, I, I don't know. You might be able to hire a wizard, but it would probably be pretty expensive to teleport you. How far to is uh, the uh, the Iron Lords from Mirabar? Uh, it's probably closer from Mirabar, to be honest. Yeah. Because you could teleport to there and then ride there. It would probably take you about a week or so. Do a couple encounter rolls. Use some rations. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Okay, stock up on the bacon. Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> All right. Okay, so you teleport. Mirabar. Mirabar. All right, so let's see. The Mirabarin. Let's see. All right, so... Actually, the Mirabar Circle, this is actually a very secretive teleportation circle because the Mirabar authorities didn't, did not want one here. And the, the Harpers tried to negotiate some type of, you know, treaty to be able to have the circle here, but Mirabar said no. Uh, but the Harpers did it anyway, <laughs> so uh, this is actually in a in a lofty stable house, in the loft of the stable house. And nice. as you appear, you are basically about almost chest high in hay. And there is a stable master there that actually introduces himself, a dwarf, by the way, and he's actually standing up on a chair so he's not fully engulfed by all the hay, 
where it does an over his head. And he introduces himself as Zaz Spar Bronzefire. And uh, he's posing as a stable hand. You know, he has leather overalls and, you know, a piece of straw coming out of his mouth. All kinds of straw mangled up in his beard. And he introduces himself as the mirror bar teleportation apprentice. And you can see that he also has the medallion around his neck. And he welcomes you to mirror bar and he goes, under no circumstance can you tell anyone about the location of this teleportation circle. It is for Thumbs the word. All right. Very good. There's no worry. Not even a little one. <clears throat> All right. So you guys are in mirror bar. You guys can stock up here. Uh, all, all kinds of good stuff. There's a whole right. lot of dwarves here. I'm telling you. So there, there is a lot of dwarves here, actually. So why don't you guys, uh, why don't you guys go ahead and give me a couple of encounter rolls as you guys are making about the week journey to Iron Master. I'll take. Each one of you give me an encounter roll. So let's see, uh, Graven, you give me uh, a d20 for the first couple of days. I put that in the uh, uh, dice tower? You could just throw it. Yeah, you could just, eh, no, just put it in chat. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll know right. when the encounter hits us, right? Very good. <laughs> Curlyella or uh, Atticus. Very nice. Oh, very close there, Atticus. Very close. Curlyella. 18, 19, or 20 would have been an encounter. So you guys make it the entire week all the way to Iron Master. You go through a week's worth of rations. Uh, and when you are approaching, let's see, Iron Master. Let's get this out. Kind of got ahead of me. Sorry about that. I've got uh, a couple extra things opened up that I needed to close. All right. All right, so remember Augric had told you that there are no humans or actually nobody else but Iron Master, you know, the dwarves that are allowed inside of Iron Master. You know, her, her clan folk just don't allow it. So remember she had told you to, and, I, and then I will go ahead and share this quest with you. I think I already did once, but I'll share it with you again. Now, when you want to announce that you want to speak to the dwarves of Iron Master, she had given you a location on the map to contact these dwarves. And it's, it's like a, uh, almost like a monolith sticking out of, out of the frozen tundra. And it is you... back to being super cold up here, too, by the way. Yeah, Graven. Nothing. I'm just... Did you want to say something? Oh, okay. No. Was it you, Carliella, or somebody wanted to say something? No. Okay, no, good. all right. So this no, monolith... Here. This is where anyone not affiliated with the Iron Master tribe can meet someone. And they, of course, they have lookouts watching this monolith at all times. So as all of you get to this monolith, you're basically announcing that, you know, you are here to see them. So maybe an hour or so goes by and several dwarves just basically start springing up out of the snow. And what I mean is, you know, trap doors kind of open up and stuff like that, and then they, they come Sure. Up. And there's about a dozen of these of these dwarves. And one of these dwarves uh, announces himself as Gort Brighthelm, and you are at the secret of Marker. What brings you to an audience of the Iron Master dwarves? Um, news of giants. Giants. Well, we uh, Agric, Agric asked us to come. Oh, my cousin! Wait. Oh, yes, my 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 cousin. She is in uh, Bryn Shander. Yes, uh, she has sent you here to uh, on her behalf. Is she okay? She usually uh, gets no, with she, me directly. She, they need. She needs reinforcements to come to Bryn Shander. Oh, she needs reinforcements. What what happened at Bryn Shander? Uh, does someone else know? I don't. <laughs> yeah. <there's> a, uh, <laughs> so Bryn Sander was besieged by frost giants. Uh, I, I heard that the, the frost giants were coming down from the moving ice to the north. So they attacked Bryn Shander? Uh, Aubrey is did. okay? That's right. They were looking for something that they called their own, and then they, they, they didn't have it. Then Bryn Shander saw the frost giants attacked. Hmm. 
Did she give you a number on how many how many men that she needed, men and women? Because you know our our dwarvish women are great fighters, of course. As I'm sure so you we'll, probably told them your name. So. I'll recount the battle against the Frost Giants. Okay. Uh, He's in amazement. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I help with illusions. <laughs> so and uh, and make it really clear. And I'll let it, I, I, you know after all is said and done, I'll let you be the judge of of how many you know students you're going to need to, to to protect that. But but it was a heck of a fight. Well, I can I can spare probably probably fifty men and women to uh, to reinforce Augur and Vern Shander. So I will grant this request, and you can take news back to Augur that. Uh, she will have reinforcements within several days. Right. And I thank you, uh, especially telling me that my, my cousin, my favorite cousin of my hundred or so dwarvish cousins, I'm, you know how the dwarvish families are, they're so large and everything, Raven. So uh, here, I'm going to give you a little bit, of, uh, little bit of something to help you out uh, with your travels yeah. to Iron Master. So he gives everyone... A hundred gold in gems. Right. Oh, nice! Whoa! So, yeah. So I will go ahead and add that to the party sheet. So that's a total of four hundred gems, and uh, I distribute it. So there you go. And I, I think I've told you guys how I do gems. I don't like individual gems. I just say you got a hundred gold in gems. So if you want a hundred gems worth of a hundred gold in gems worth of diamonds, fine. Or if you want ten ten gold piece gems, I don't care. I just call it universal gems. So you got a hundred golden gems. Whatever you want, you got. So there you go. All right. Cool. So that that pretty much takes care of all of the the little uh, errands that. You know the NPCs that Bryn Shander wanted to do, except for Markham Southwell. Remember, Markham Southwell wanted you to patrol the areas, and it's only been—it hasn't even been but a day. So you guys think, are way ahead of of schedule. What's that, Graven? I think you gave Trevok gems rather than Atticus. Oh, I did, didn't I? Oh, you know what? I did. I'm sorry. So Trevok's I... sneaky. I put the wrong one in there. So what I'll do Graylock is opposite of sneaky actually. Grave Graven has him his in a uh, a diamond encrusted mug. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I added 100 gold and gems to your sheet, Atticus, and then uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and take it away from Trayvok. I'm sorry, Trayvok. Graven has a, has a shot glass that looks like it's constantly got salt on top of it. Really is diamonds. Ooh. Ooh. So it's like a uh, a margarita glass of endless salt or something, maybe? <laughs> the margarita something glass like of endless salt, nice. All right, so we'll, yeah. I think this would probably be a great time to stop to where you guys can get Bryn Chan get back to Bryn Shander. You can kind of inform everybody. Oh, you cut your lips. oh sorry, you were breaking up, Raven? No, let's hear Oh, okay. I'm sorry, you were breaking up. I didn't even hear what you said. I'm sorry. I couldn't understand. I didn't say... Oh, I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, you guys can get back to Bryn Chander, uh, inform everybody of uh, everything that you found out, and then if you want to, you know, play a deputy and kind of roam around the, the Ten Towns, that's where we'll pick up next week. All right. That sounds great. All right. Whoa, got a lot of stuff done tonight. Great job, guys. And you got a hellacious amount of loot. See? Pays to, pays to uh to play, huh? You guys got a bunch of stuff. And Curlio, you even got your cloak of protection. And you know, speaking out of character, you somebody was gonna get that anyway. But you searching for a cloak of protection and, and water deep, that was just MacGyver on your part. So kind of worked yeah. out in the end yeah. for you. So I, I figure Look. I need it because I just keep getting hit and then knocked down and you know, it just <laughs> repeats over and over. Yeah, well, that's weird. I, I well, couldn't okay. imagine you getting knocked down when you get hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get the, <laughs> You're the roadblock to slow down the rest of them until Graven gets to them. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, well, thanks for playing, guys. Great game. Thank and good you. to see you guys. And uh, well, I'll yep. see you guys next week.